são 17 em ponto. Exato. Olá, o meu nome é Marta Lourenço e sou a diretora do Museu de História Natural e da Ciência da Universidade de Lisboa. Hoje temos um seminário muito especial, não é o primeiro, uh, que não é em língua portuguesa, uh, e até queremos uh, aprofundar, porque sabemos que existem inúmeras pessoas uh, que estão a fazer trabalhos interessantes e que podem iluminar uh, o trabalho com coleções e com museus, etc., nas mais diversas áreas, e portanto hoje o seminário é em inglês, porque temos uma convidada muito especial, não portuguesa, chama-se Margarita Guzman e ela é uma artista. Eu vou passar talvez para inglês, porque ela está aqui ao meu lado e depois não percebe o que eu estou a dizer em português. Mas a Margarita Guzman is an artist and master in museology and heritage management from the National University of Colombia. A trilingual professional, she speaks Spanish, which is her native language, obviously, but also French and English, and this seminar will be in English, with preparation in the conceptualization, design, implementation and development of museological and museographic projects, with emphasis on cultural project management. Expert in museological projects in the area of heritage education, permanent, temporary and itinerary exhibitions, cultural activities, as well as in the conservation and maintenance program of collections. Experience also, Margarita has in virtual strategies with virtual tools, tours in 360 degrees, which is very modern now, in the development of a virtual museum in Second Life and in the use of augmented reality and virtual reality. Margarita has been spending some time, some wonderful time with us here at the museum And uh, therefore, I asked her if she could be so kind to give us a talk, a seminar about her museum. And she uh, prepared um, a seminar that she's going to give about the Museu da Universidad del Rosario in Bogota, Colombia. And the title is A University Museum, More Than Safeguarding Heritage and Experience of Activation of material culture. So thank you so much, um, Margarita. She's here next to me and we're going to swap places now. And she's going to give her a seminar. The floor is absolutely hers. Margarita, you can come. Okay. Thank you very much. Yes. 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 Okay. Share, share. Oh, sure, I know that. Sure, and now it's down. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Well. How are you, everybody? And well, I am very lucky to be there with you. Eh, eu estou muy emocionada de estar aquí con você. Well, um, I am invited but, uh, by Marta Lorenzo. And the subject I will Uh, show you is about uh, the Museum of the Universidad del Rosario. Um, the Museum of the University is uh, really uh, something very special for, for me because uh, I am working since uh, the barn. Wait a minute. Can I pass by there only? No. no. Ah, yeah. Okay. Now, oh, but this is the end, right? Yes. Because I found the message. Okay. No. Okay. And now. Mm -hmm. And now. Thank you very much. Okay. 
well, excuse me, <laughs> I, am, I am trying to use another computer. Well, um, the Museum of the Universidad del Rosario uh, is born is uh, only five years ago. And I want to show you what we are doing uh, since uh, 2017. Uh, the overview of this presentation is an historical context. I want to talk about the heritage challenge of the museum that is born, a living museum that lives, a university museum is more than a safeguarding heritage and an experience of activation of material culture. Well, the Colegio Mayor de Nuestra Señora del Rosario was born in 1653, still now. That is very important because uh, we have this year uh, 369 years old. Uh, it was founded uh, at, in Santa Fe, capital of the new Granada, uh, present day is Bogota, Colombia. And uh, the promoter of the Colegio Mayor was a Dominican priest, Fray Cristóbal de Torres, uh, who held one of the main political position in the city as the archbishop of the city. The cluster of the Rosario and the Bordadita Chapel were declared National Cultural Heritage of Colombia in 1975. It's a symbol of prestige of career and memory uh, that have been part of building the country. Uh, about uh, the heritage, we have, of course, the cluster was built in 1653, uh, like a um, ancient Colegio Mayor of Salamanca, uh, that was the inspiration to uh, Fray Cristóbal de Torres. And our actual heritage collection, it become a very important collection in the country because it's about poetry, civil portraiture. Uh, it has also brought together religious art of our importance of early painters uh, of our, our history. The collection of all painted portraits of characters that have pedagogic, symbolic, documental, artistic, historic potential that have been um, of the life of the nation, of course, and represent the birthplace of the Republic of Colombia and the building of Colombian citizens in the 19th century. The object of the past powerful testimonies of the history that represent this, the life of the country, like this uh, signature that could you see in, in your screen, uh, represent the name of the director of the Colegio Mayor in 1910. Uh, 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 the, the signature is in the Independence Act, a very important document for us and for every Colombian people. The collection at this moment you could mm, see at the website of the museum, you could see in the screen, and at Google Art and Culture. It's a place uh, very uh, frequently for the people. And the challenge of the museum that is born uh, is very much because during centuries, the cultural heritage of the institution was kept and was only available to a few, only a few persons. It is not enough to have an important and unique collection that brings together over four centuries of Colombian art and of the history of the country. Then the challenge of the museum are, for example, to remain in time as a space of integration and cultural participation and to activate and to open up this cultural heritage to the city and to the world, giving it a museum dimension and an important function in academic activities with the arm of strengthening 
the three pillars of the institution mission, like education, research, and extended education. To become necessary and relevant within university life throughout its democratization and its accessibility to everyone. The other challenge that we have is to study and preserve and exhibit the university heritage uh, with a different kind of uh, possibilities with get, uh, get a visit and exhibitions. Uh, of course, legitimize the collection and self-guard by the museum and research and learning tools within university life. The strength of the museum as a space of debate and controversy and create awareness of the significance of the collection and combine its living and real communication power with social, cultural animation in support with the renovation of participatory interpretation dynamics. Implement the social appropriation and democratization of this heritage by means of the access to the displays, the cultural objects and social inclusions. A living museum that lives, that is the more difficult for us because uh, all this uh, heritage that I showing you is in the, in the middle of the office and the desk of the person that uh, are working at the university. Uh, then we have to work very hard, but at this moment we have these uh, three areas very important for us is uh, the museum, is a museum uh, uh, you could, uh, is alive, and you could uh, visit the museum, virtual museum. Then we have the website, and online and on, on seat, we have different kinds of audio guides and possibility to, to visit the museum. We have created two, virtual reality, and uh, cultural and academic activities, of course. The memory is the center of the um, heritage. Uh, we are working about the memory, we live in memory, in present, in memorial events. The historical uh, trajectory of the university is interpreted through exhibitions and participation in city and country events. Other things is connect the museum with the activities of our university. Then we are looking for a space of debate and dialogue among no no knows, no house, research dissemination among different disciplines, promotion of inclusion and participation. And how to leave the museum? Because it is difficult to uh, have uh, visitors in the museum. Then uh, we, we, ways, uh, we have new ways uh, for understanding the, the history uh, with the responsibility uh, uh, participation of the students as mediators. And uh, of course, uh, they participate too in the creation of curatorial concepts. Memory development of content history representation with performing exhibition and activities of our university. The museum is a space for debate and dialogue of knowledge, is dissemination of research from different disciplines, promoting inclusion and participation. Permanent hall and temporary exhibition are the other uh, challenge that we have. For a moment, we have uh, all that I want to show you. We have, for example, the website that you can visit with a, a possibility to see the museum at the around me place. Uh, but uh, we have to, of course, all the social media, Facebook, Instagram, and uh, Twitter and YouTube too. Uh, and in the museum, I can show you too the uh, augmented reality and uh, QR codes in every one of the uh, paintings. I want to show you uh, this little uh, 
movie showing you what we could do in the augmented reality. The dispositive is open with the symbol of the university, then it's very easy. The people only have to have the application of the on, in the mobile. And then you could see different possibilities to know the four moments important, the constitution of the university, the cluster, uh, and uh, next you could see the founder of the university and two mm, uh, very important persons are, are uh, of course, Jose Celestino Mutis and uh, Francisco Jose de Caldas. All of them are very important person. At this moment, uh, we have two more possibilities uh, of personalities. Uh, I don't have it in this uh, little video, but you could find it. Well, at this moment, we have a new exhibition outdoor the cluster. Uh, in, a, in a place near, in front of the uh, way, very important way of Bogota, Carrera Septima with the Jimenez. And uh, we have at this moment a, a permanent uh, exhibition. And we use in this exhibition a mapping interactive and a virtual reality, the, which uh, of course, Mm, some moment of the history of uh, my country and the participation with this kind of uh, dispositives are very important because it's a new, a new way to show the history of the country too and the and the exactly is the the, the site where we have this uh, exhibition uh, we have another permanent, permanent displays, very small permanent displays. At, the, at this uh, place, we have uh, a few exhibitions, but um, in other moment, we realize different exhibition in a place not, uh, not, not usually. Uh, for example, uh, all of them was uh, prepared uh, to content of historical representation uh, of the activities of the university. Well, for example, the, the moment of the independence, we are a celebration and uh, 2010 and uh, other moments and other, with about uh, different personalities. Then we decide to activate this heritage. Uh, by means of heritage object. And the participation of the student in the practice of collaborative uh, creating of exhibits will soon be put into practice. Mm, the terms uh, uh, of valuing heritage uh, is uh, our strategy is to know, is understand and value and enjoy it. That is very important for us. Uh, something that we are doing very exciting and very important activities. We are, uh, have a promotion of inclusion and the participation, of course, with young people with intellectual and disabilities. That was a very important activity of the museum. And uh, of course, uh, we have many moments that, in, in the year that uh, we use the possibility uh, to have the uh, uh, activities with the uh, students. Mm, for example, we promote appropriation of the cultural heritage. For example, when the, the first, the students of the first uh, year begin to study at the university, that was a very mo important moment. Other moment was, for example, the night of the museums that we are uh, doing in Bogota uh, twice a year. That was a very important moment for us too. Uh, you could see here the 
these the students uh, uh, have the possibility to make uh, uh, like a personality of the moment of the history of the university. That was wonderful, really very, very visit for us. Uh, well, a university museum is more than safeguarding heritage. I want to show you other uh, activities very important that we have in, the mo in, the, in this moment at the university and the museum. We develop a restoration workshop. Uh, the cultural objects or treasure and that make us unique. That is a very important thing because mm, we don't have at uh, Colombia any other collection that uh, our collection. And then we decide to restore and conserve and revive and value, uh, see, and uh, of heritage use. Um, Mm, they have at this moment the Vettorian Register of National Cultural Heritage. That is a very important thing for us. And we, are, we have a regulation uh, creating a cultural heritage management. And then you could see here our uh, workshop uh, restoration is really wonderful space. Uh, we have the possibility to restore and to conserve uh, since um, oil painting, uh, photography, and objects, uh, different objects uh, that we have at the museum. Other things that we are doing is uh, we are trying to have our heritage allow us to move along the curatorial uh, cultural arena of the country. And in other museums, we have the possibility to um, um, exhibit our different uh, oil painting and objects. Then at this moment, uh, the most important is the safeguard of the heritage richness of the university. Uh, new forms to show the art, the science, and the culture uh, with the specialists uh, with uh, different areas of the knowledge. And we disseminate knowledge about memory and cultural heritage of the University of Rosario, both inside and outside the walls of the cluster. And we encourage participation and the enhancement of the academic and student community. At this moment, we have an experience of activation of material culture. What is the museum at this moment? In this moment, what, what we are this museum? The Museum of the Rosario Universal Rosario is a space for cultural integration that generates dialogues, reflection, advances, participation, processes, disseminates research, illustrate experience and promotes new ideas. For example, you could see in, in this uh, slide and the, the next slide, the, the museum background. It's only five years really uh, uh, since the, um, the moment that we are born, but uh, the, the history is really, really uh, since 1975, because at this moment, all the heritage was uh, named a uh, national heritage in my country. Uh, and then at 19, um, 2017, we have the possibility to open the museum and to begin the activities with the uh, different uh, persons, with the students, with the professors, and the, uh, all the people that work at the university. And we have visitor, external visitor all the time. Um, many international visitors, then we have the possibility to have a, mm, mm, the visit uh, guides in different language, in Spanish, English, French, and uh, well, that is a possibility to talk with many persons. Now, at this moment, uh, the museum is a strategic heritage project at the university. The name is Legado UR. 
And uh, at this moment, that is very important for us because we have new possibilities uh, with some events that was uh, one of them. The statue of Gonzalo Jimenez de Quesada that was at the, at the outside of the university. Uh, he was the founder of Santa Fe de Bogota, was toppled in the early morning of May 7, 2021. But since 2020, the public debate on the monuments associated to the conquest and colonial time was resumed in Colombia with the pulling down of the status of Sebastián de Belalcázar in Popayán by Misak, Pijao, and NASA Indians from Cauca. It's an action that has been interpreted as a reaction to past violence and oppression uh, that began uh, in the last, in the last uh, uh, year. Uh, the last year then, uh, there are many, many activities around this subject. And of course, uh, with the participation of a uh, space of the major office of Bogota and other space academic uh, institution and museum. And of course, we are now, we are present, present at these kind of activities. Other things that uh, we have in, in, at this moment is some professor uh, has led an investigation uh, on the links between the university and the institution of slavery. Uh, that is a very sensible subject, but at this moment we have a project around uh, uh, this problematic uh, thing to talk. And uh, we have the possibility to have a uh, the next year, an exhibition, and uh, with an important <clears throat> possibility to uh, the interver intervention, intervention of a contemporary artist in the uh, cluster. Now, the Universidad Rosario uh, is joined a consortium of universities studying slavery at the United States. That is a very important uh, thing for us. Since another thing, and the last one I want to show you is in May 80, 2022, this year, one of the space of meeting rooms uh, are designated for the rector uh, for use uh, like a, a room of exhibition at the museum. Then uh, we decide to do a, a very interesting activities. Then we have a wall, a wall in this uh, room because we have to plan ex an exhibition, but what to show in this exhibition that is the most important for us, what to show. And uh, we decide to put a paper on the wall and uh, we uh, are uh, seeing all the time what the people are writing on these uh, walls. Then uh, at this moment, we have different uh, possibilities uh, with this room, but uh, in, the, in the, the next, in the uh, last uh, three months, we have really a good uh, information what the people want. Uh, now the museum of the Universidad del Rosario is Muro. Muro is a wall, is the, the translation in Spanish. And Muro is the Museo de la Universidad del Rosario. Then uh, that was the first name of the museum that I couldn't use uh, in 2017 because at this moment there, there is the Muro of uh, Trump and that wasn't that isn't a, a good idea to put the name of Muro. But now we have a Muro, and the Muro is a visit uh, was visited for, for many persons. You could see here that is the the space that we have now, and the people uh, wrote many many ideas, many uh, mm, uh, things that the people want. 
then at this moment to the new permanent exhibition, the, the first one uh, permanent exhibition in a room. We are working now with a collective and a, um, very participative uh, contents. What uh, we are uh, seeing, the, the, the words are inclusion, diversity, equality, women, indigenous, Afro-community, LGBTQ+. Then at this moment, we are working about social and critical museology. The future begin uh, of in the present. That is our lemma at this moment. The Museum of the Rosario University is committed towards revealing the past, understanding the present, and envisioning the future for the building of a country and peace now at this moment that we are beginning a new government and we are really expecting uh, about the peace. Thank you for all, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, now leave it, leave it. Thank you so much, Marguerite. It was fantastic uh, presentation. And I heard the final part and um, I don't know if there are any questions in the, um, let's see. Ooh, mm -hmm. but it's all spam. We have to delete all that. Uh. Anyway, hmm. so Margarita, tell me, what do you think is the, apart from the, the social, economic, political situation more generally in Colombia, what do you think is, as a university museum, what do you think is the biggest challenge that you face today? Mm, well, the biggest challenge is uh, to have the participation of the people and uh, the possibility that the people could uh, explain all that they want, all that they think, and, and, and to create a space to uh, have the possibility to construct uh, with these ideas, a new form mm -hmm. to uh, have a reflection, but not, uh, I am sure we couldn't have a answer, but many questions and many questions for think. Mm -hmm. I for think people it, to think. Yes. Because I think that all of us, we want our museums to be places of reflection and places of safe spaces where people can feel welcome and where they feel they can um, be provoked in a good way. Mm -hmm. And uh, But that's actually very difficult to achieve in practice mm -hmm. because uh, lots of people feel First of all, that the museum is a space, a place where they are not allowed mm -hmm. to enter, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. They feel they feel that it's something for other people, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And then a university museum, mm -hmm. it's even more, right? It's yes. Because people see Universidad del Rosario. Rosario. Mm -hmm. They feel, oh, this is not for me, yes. right? How yes. do you how do you bridge? How do you get people through the door mm -hmm. uh, so that they feel authorized? Yes. Autorizadas a entrar, mm -hmm. uh, pasar a porta. Yes, How do you... that is really difficult really... Uh, for us uh, very much because uh, in, in the front of the, the university, there is all the time a person that they say, no, you couldn't pass. You cannot pass. Okay. Then we have a different, at this moment, different forms to uh, possibilities to the people could uh, come to the university mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. to the museum. Mm -hmm. uh, well, uh, with an, an email and uh, right. that yeah. that is really a possibility, Does but that work? is enough. Does it, that, that, it that is work. It yes, works. we have all the time. We have the, the mediation uh, with the students. Mm -hmm. I show yeah, you the, yeah, the, yeah. and uh, that is uh, wonderful because they are all the time uh, in the possibility to, to show all our heritage. 
But uh, what is the most important then? Uh, mm, and, uh, in Bogota, for example, uh, the last year and this year, mm -hmm. the first mm -hmm. uh, semester, mm -hmm. we have the night of the museum. Right. That is the moment that we open the door, mm -hmm. of course, uh, with many people uh, that are looking for all, that is not easy. Yeah, of, course. Uh, of course. Because it's many, many people coming. Yeah. Uh, that was a, a moment very interesting. The students participate with a theatrical uh, mm -hmm. representation of the personalities, right. and well, that is a form to uh, to have a new yeah. public. In special new days, public. in special yes. days, it's easier. But every yeah. day, but every day, it's difficult. It's difficult. At this moment, with the new room mm -hmm. that we have, yeah, of course, we have to plan what yeah. to do. What to no? do? Because it's in a place very, very difficult to to be. Yeah. Because uh, well, we couldn't leave everyone. Yeah, of course. Because, no. And uh, do you do you believe that if if you do, if you produce good content, mm -hmm. content that is relevant mm -hmm. to the society, to the population, they will come. Uh, I hope, I hope yeah. really, yeah. I hope really. Yeah. Well, at this uh, exercise that we did mm -hmm. with this yeah. wall, yeah. Uh, yeah. where everyone could, could explain, or, well, yeah. you could imagine what the people uh, wrote right. on the wall. Right. Many uh, things about the government. Yeah. <laughs> because Politics, the past, yes, social, many, many. Yeah. But we have many good ideas. Mm -hmm. And I I think that is uh, an, an insumo mm -hmm. uh, yeah. to probably in the future. Yes. Uh, we could do, we have to do right. many activities right. around right. this. For yes. example, about uh, the the problem with the woman, uh, about uh, LGBT, LGBT, of course, mm. at this moment that is a, a very difficult problem. Yeah, uh, we have uh, to to about invite peace, peace yes, in the general. peace, the peace. peace. That is the most important. That then, but but why com how, how communicate exactly. these new ideas with my heritage yeah. in the museum that is very yeah. difficult the heritage of the yeah. museum is a colonial heritage yeah. is is the is the problem at this yes, moment yes, yes. they don't want to see the heritage yeah, of course, uh, of course. so uh, but can you use that heritage as a point of departure to deconstruct the heritage, yeah, sure. right? Well, I think uh, the most important is to transmit the idea mm -hmm. that the if you don't know the history, right. you couldn't project the future. Right, that's true. And you have to leave this in the present moment. That's a very yeah. good point. So in order to reflect on the present, you need to understand the good and the bad of history. Of so the, our history, mm -hmm. our shared history. Uh -huh. you know, that's how we move on yes. to another. So I think that that's a very good, um, that's a very good point of departure because all museums have um, problematic collections, of right? Of course, yes. And um, you know, facing them uh, directly, mm -hmm. what they mean, mm -hmm. right? And what they meant in the past and what they mean today is really an important, uh, and I think that it's relevant for the people today, right? Yes, of course. We are trying to do, there is since five years ago, to connect this uh, ancient person yes. Uh, yes. With, the, with the present. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. there is many- His personalities. Yes, the, the personalities. The portraits uh, yes, and no, all that. Not only the portrait, but what uh, he did. For example, yeah, yeah, no? yeah, that is important because he was the first uh, doctor in yeah, tourist, tourist. Exactly. Uh, well, but that is the most important. The most important is he had the, the first idea, mm -hmm. uh, for example, to open the possibility to the woman for women to, vote, to do for, to example, vote, for example, for example, yes, yes, like yes. this. And sometimes those narratives related to women, related to people of color, mm -hmm. are not so evident, no. right? And mm -hmm. so it's more the male mm -hmm. uh, narratives, right? And so through, you can get to the silent voices. Exactly. Using that mm -hmm. uh, kind of thing. The new room, uh, 
the the the, the new uh, yeah. uh, contents yeah no the script yeah um was doing not like a linear linear uh, uh, history uh -huh. that we don't want yeah yeah, this yeah, kind yeah, of exhibition yeah, yeah. because that is the same that we have. Yeah, the no. same for 200 uh, years. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Then at this moment, we decide to put in an Iceland, for example, the problem of the diversity. Right. And what did many person about the diversity? Yeah, because yeah. other thing is the university are uh, working about diversity. the subject. Yeah, there of is, course, of course. But the people don't, don't, but they don't, don't know. see that. They don't they see don't that. Know. Yeah, exactly. Then we want to show that. Mm -hmm. And showing that, probably we could have new things. Yes, no? yes. And uh, it's, a it's the beginning it's a of beginning. other things yes, that come with yes. this. Yes. When, and in the next time, uh, <clears throat> I think so it could be uh, right. Uh, we will have more rooms to show new exhibition. That's fantastic. And this new exhibition, I, I, I we are thinking it could be a temporary exhibition with, for example, politic and art. Right. Because we have in crossing this moment the crossing the subject, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. women and art. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. That is very important. That's uh, very interesting. Uh, interesting. Well, I think so. We and have with that you have lots of visitors, I think, yes, because it's more, more relevant. Of course, and probably yeah, with yeah. Uh, artists, uh, people want yeah, to, yeah, to come course, here. Course, course. Uh, and for the university, it also feels a purpose. There is an objective of the university. Okay, they say, okay, we want to be more, more diverse. We want to represent the whole population of Colombia. But the only way they can do it is through admissions, through the students and so on, and per, you know, docents too. But you, you can problematize the problem. Exactly. You know, you can, exactly. the issue, you can problematize mm -hmm. it, give it some context, mm -hmm. past, present, which the university cannot really do mm -hmm. so well, only museums uh, do it. Uh, no, the, the university is working yeah, very, very yeah, hard yeah, about yeah, this about, uh, and about uh, the regions yes. and about the people and about uh, different kind of persons. Mm -hmm. At this moment, the director of the university is a, a person very open okay. to wonderful. new ideas. And, mm. uh, and I think that is the most important for us, for the of museum. Course, of course. At this right. moment, and is the possibility to to, to do, the do a very things. a very good work. Yes, yes. of course, I, we have to to do evaluation in different moments. Right. What is right. happened? What right. is what we are doing? But yes. and how how are things going? Right? Yes. How are things developing? Yes. Yes. How are the visitors responding yes. to yes. to the different and, initiatives? And uh, the most important for us is uh, to have more people working at the museum yeah, because it's resources. very very difficult yeah, at this moment with only two persons. That is very yeah. very difficult. Yeah. But yeah. but we are working about that. I I I am with sure. Ingrid. I don't know if Ingrid is seeing us. See, hello, because, Ingrid. Uh, she is my. My partner, my, yeah. my, my your right arm, one hundred, one hundred percent, percent. Ingrid, and there was another person in uh, Prague. Who was it? It was Ingrid and somebody else. Who was the uh, the person in uh, Prague? In, uh, in Prague, no, he's a, a history professor. Oh yeah, and oh, he yeah. don't work with us, it but he's a collaborator. He's the one of the professor that has working with. Uh, the heritage, difficult the heritage, heritage yeah. and all Perfect. that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I remember, I remember well, now. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a very important Okay, thing. Margarita, it, you've been wonderful. <laughs> Thank you very much. This has Thank been a mano much. a mano. Huh? And I hope you enjoyed your um, seminar of this uh, month. It was, uh, we had a very special guest. And I hope that you had the opportunity to visit a different museum. Uh, perhaps you have not visited uh, Colombia and Bogota specifically, but next time you go, I'm sure that uh, Margarita will show you. We are around. waiting for you. Yeah, for anyone mm -hmm. who comes. So thank you so much and uh, see you next time. <laughs> Bye.